October 24th, St. Raphael the Archangel. Angels do exist, and no amount of ridicule on the part of skeptics will change that fact. All angels are messengers. The word angelos means messenger in Greek. Revelation describes seven archangels who stand before the throne of God, and three of these are given names, Gabriel, Michael, and Raphael. These three are regarded as saints. They were created by a loving and unselfish God to govern the universe. The most striking example of this is the angel Raphael, who appeared as a marvelous young man in the Old Testament to solve the problems of Tobias. The father, Tobias, was a faithful son of Jacob and was old and worn out by his manifold good works. For many years he had assisted his fellow exiles in every way possible, and he continued this practice despite the wrath that the king manifested toward him. Having been stripped of all his possessions, he desired to have his son recover a substantial loan he previously gave to a relative in a distant city. However, he needed a companion for the young Tobias. God provided that guide in the archangel Raphael, whom the son met one day in the person of a stranger from the very area where he was to go. Raphael, to all appearances, was a young man like himself, who said his name was Azarius, which means assistance of God. All aspects of this journey had been thorny with difficulties, but the wise guide had found a way to overcome all of them. One such time, when a huge fish threatened to devour Tobias, Raphael told him how to remove it from the water, then extract remedies and provisions from the fish. When the angel led Tobias for lodging to the house of his kinsman and father of the beautiful Sarah, the young man learned that seven proposed husbands had died on the very day of the planned marriage. How would Tobias fare? St. Raphael convinced Tobias to present himself as a husband to Sarah, who accepted him. Sarah despaired that yet another of her husbands would be taken from her, and she prayed for her own death. Raphael, however, banished the demon from her, and she and Tobias had a happy marriage. After the wedding feast, Tobias and Sarah returned to Nineveh. During the absence of the young Tobias, his father had become blind. When the two travelers returned after an extended absence, which had cost his mother many tears, the young Tobias was deeply grieved to find his father unable to see him and his new daughter-in-law. But Raphael told the son how to cure his father's blindness by means of the gall of the fish, and after recovering his sight, all of them rejoiced in their blessings. When Tobias the son narrated this story and told his father that all their benefits had come to them through this stranger, both father and son wished to award Azarius. Raphael declined and revealed his identity, saying he was sent to assist the family of the man who had never failed to obey and honor the blessed God of Israel. Raphael, before he disappeared, said to the family, It is honorable to reveal and confess the works of God. Prayer is good, with fasting and alms, more than to lay up treasures, for alms deliver from death and purge away sins, and cause the giver to find mercy and life everlasting. When thou didst pray with tears, and didst bury the dead, and didst leave thy dinner to hide the dead by day in thy house, and bury them by night, I offered thy prayer to the Lord. And because thou wast acceptable to God, it was necessary that trials prove thee. I am the angel Raphael, one of the seven who stands before the Lord. Raphael's name means God heals. This identity came about because of the biblical story which claims that he healed the earth when it was defiled by the sins of the fallen angels. He is patron of the blind, happy meetings, nurses, physicians, and of travelers. May the angel Raphael, physician of our salvation, help us from the heights of heaven, heal all diseases, and guide our faltering steps toward the true life.